Hey, what's up guys, it's Dr. Sammy. And today I'm gonna show you how I use technology to show my patients what's possible with porcelain veneers. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I use Keynote and Photoshop to design a smile for one of my favorite rappers, uh, Mr. Kendrick Lamar. Now, he's not a patient of mine, but I'm a huge, huge fan, and this photo will allow me to show you how this technique works. But before we get started, we need to have a conversation about how powerful designing a smile digitally can be. So there are four main benefits for designing a smile digitally for patients of yours that are interested in getting a smile makeover. First, it gives you you an idea of what's possible. This gives you the ability to visualize the final outcome, set reasonable expectations, and then also gives you a little bit of that excitement factor for both you as a doctor and for your patients. Whether you're doing Invisalign, porcelain veneers, dental crowns, braces, um, implants, you know, a lot of patients are unable to visualize how their smile can be transformed if they go through this dental process. It takes a lot of time, money, commitment, and it's a barrier for people that want to get started. So by designing a smile digitally or on your computer, you're able to show your patient what's possible and that can be really powerful. It also gives you the ability to set reasonable expectations. Some patients might come to your office and they have this idea that they're gonna have perfectly straight teeth and a beautiful smile, when in reality, they might need to undergo maxillofacial surgery or they may need a couple years of orthodontic therapy followed by veneers, or they may need whitening or whatever. But by you taking that photo and designing a smile, you can start to see exactly what's possible and start to have more open, honest communication with your patient. And honestly, there's a huge excitement component to it as well. When you show your patient what's possible, they get excited and you also get excited because you can envision the goal before even taking a dental burr to their teeth. Number two, identify potential problems. So this isn't as accurate as taking models, doing a comprehensive examination, but taking photos and designing a smile digitally will allow you to see if there's problems with spacing and crowding, gingival symmetry, and whether you need to have a consultation with a specialist. Veneers are really powerful because they can change the shape, the color, and the contour of the teeth, but if there's too much spacing or too much overlap teeth, then we might have to be aggressive with our preparation design, and that's not really the, doing the best thing for our patients. So by placing the veneers digitally, you're able to better identify those types of problems and educate the patient about solutions that can help them out. You can also place the veneers digitally over the gums in a way that gives them a gum lift and you can also show them what's possible if you don't do a gum lift. So this is really helpful for people that have gingival asymmetry where they may need to do intrusion therapy at the orthodontic or they may have to do crown lengthening to get the ideal result. But you wanna present all options to your patients and by designing the smile digitally, you can show them the different options and then they can make a better decision moving forward. This will allow you to identify whether your patients need to go see a periodontist or maybe an oral surgeon for implant placement before getting started with the veneer procedure. Number three, variations in the smile design. So a lot of my patients have questions on how many units of veneers are needed to enhance their smile. And it really varies from patient to patient. Some people can get away with just two, some people need the full eight to make the design a little bit better. Better. It depends on the spacing, the crowding, and a variety of other factors that we're not gonna go into right now, but you can actually show them how it looks like if you need to place two veneers, or you might wanna show them how eight veneers is more natural, or you might wanna show them how maybe it's four veneers that will get the job done, but you can actually show them this so that you don't get started on a case 
finish it, and then they're unhappy with the final result. You can also decide on the veneer shape, whether you wanna do a triangular shape, an oval shape, or a square shape. Feminine veneers are more rounded, more masculine veneers are more square shaped. So you might want to present them all those different options so that they can choose the one that works best for them. And once again, you can show them how it looks like when you correct their gingival alignment or even if you try to reduce the black spaces in the buccal corridor with veneers that go towards the back of the mouth. And finally, I've kind of harbored on this already in the previous three topics, but I just wanna punch it in again. We wanna communicate more effectively. That means reviewing all the treatment options available, having open, honest conversations about their expectations, and aligning their vision with your vision on the treatment outcome. So with that being said, let's talk about how I was able to digitally smile design uh, Mr. Kendrick Lamar's teeth. And just a little caveat, Kendrick Lamar has a beautiful smile. And to be honest, I love it, you know, it looks great, it's gorgeous, whatever. But once again, it's just a case that was so perfect for me to illustrate the concept and the technique of uh, doing a smile design on the computer. So for the purposes of today's video, I'm not gonna go into too much detail. Honestly, there's videos out there that do it way better than me, and I'll try to leave a link down below to those videos. But I am gonna show you some sped up recordings of me doing the process. So the first step is facial analysis. And this is where you take um, facial parameters to allow you to create a very natural looking smile design for Kendrick Lamar. You know, everyone has a different facial structure and these parameters will change accordingly, uh, but this is how we do that. The next step is tooth selection and arch form. There's a lot of companies out there that have their own templates on tooth selection, and you can take those templates and overlay it over the image, or you can create your own template on Keynote. But basically the idea is to delineate the natural tooth form for the centrals, laterals, canines, premolars, and overlay it on top of your patient's teeth. There are certain parameters that allow us to nail down the width to length ratio of each specific tooth in the arch form. And as we know, when we smile, it follows our lower lip arch form. And you wanna have all of these things in mind when designing the smile. Of course, this gets easier with time, but this is how you do that. Next, it's gonna be tooth color and light reflection. So this is actually a kind of challenging topic, but basically when you overlay that design on top of the teeth, you can go ahead and mask the image of your patient's natural teeth with the design that you made, and then you're gonna get a tooth form that looks really natural and that fits in the patient's mouth. Now this doesn't work for everyone, but for a lot of people, this is the way you get a really natural smile. When you finish one arch, you can go ahead and duplicate each tooth form 
flip it horizontally, and then move it to the other side. Symmetry is really important in smile design, and this is how you're gonna achieve a really natural result. And finally, you want to do a little bit of blending. I use Photoshop Blur Tool, I zoom in to the image, and then I blur the transition between the tooth form and the gum line. And when you do this, you don't get that really sharp delineation between that tooth form that you created and the gums of your patient, and it really blends in naturally. Now there's already a lot of YouTube videos out there that teach this concept in depth, so I'm gonna try to leave some links down below if you guys are really interested in the concepts that we talked about today. Um, once again, there are companies, a variety of companies out there that have a digital smile design for the phone. I think it's called DSD app. I'll try to leave the link to that company as well. And I would really encourage you guys to look into this because it's a service to our patients and I think you'll do a better, more conservative job designing someone's porcelain veneers if you go through this process first. I know it's a relatively new concept, um, but it really isn't that hard to learn. And if you guys have any questions about it, please leave it down in the comment section below. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'm actually in the process of taking a rubber dam course that I really enjoy, and I'm thinking about making a review video on that rubber dam course as well. I'll also leave that down in the description box below. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and enjoy your upcoming July 4th celebrations. Until then, see you next time.